Hello, this is orientation lesson uh, 13. <laughs> and I am excited about this one because it's one of my favorite topics. It has to do with the five basic habits. A few years ago, the church did a study. They wanted to know what kept young people particularly active in the church um, throughout their lives. What habits had they developed? And they found out that it was scripture reading, personal scripture reading, and personal prayer. That's where the five basic habits come in. If you can see these pictures here, we have over here is morning prayer, reading from the Book of Mormon, daily service, reading from another scripture, and evening prayer. This is what we are asking our students to do. And this is a little journal that they can keep track of this in. Saying their morning prayers, reading from the Book of Mormon, even if it's just the Book of Mormon stories, every day, doing a daily act of service, reading from another scripture, and saying their evening prayers. Those five things, those are the five basic habits. We ask them to do this in conjunction with the information that we were able to obtain from the church study that it does keep them active. Now, if a child starts this at four or five years of age, or even seven or eight or 11, and continues on with it, their probability of staying active in the church and having a testimony and a better outcome eternally is a very, very high one. This journal lasts for about eight weeks and then you can do another one. There's a PDF where you can print off this journal. Um, in the inside, I'm going to show you on the page here, it just has the date, okay? The date, and then an MP for morning prayer, uh, BOM for Book of Mormon, ASC for another scripture, and EP for evening prayer. So the child can either check, put a check through it, can put a, can circle it, uh, put an X over it if they want to, box it in if they want to, some indication that on this particular day they did do those things. And then there's a little more room to write about the good turn that they did. Now why a good turn? Why a good turn daily? This comes from uh, a, a couple of sources. One that President Monson, among others, um, has asked us to help others, to serve others. And the Good Turn Daily, of course, was part of the scouting program. But uh, more than that, there is a story that comes from uh, one of our past home teachers, quite frankly. It occurred in his family. Uh, he was from Canada. And one of the stories told in his family happened to do with a brother of his. And this brother, during the Depression, they were, uh, the brother was away from home. He was earning money to help the family. And at Christmas time, he sent a little scout journal home. Now, this was just a little journal, a little thing, maybe two by three inches at the most. And in there, he, he gave this journal to his father for Christmas. And in there, he had recorded that every day he had done a good deed. <coughs> that was quite a, a gift to give to that father. And we can all give that gift to our Heavenly Father if we will serve someone every single day. It helps put us in the correct mindset. It helps develop our Christ-like character to serve others. It can be a very simple thing, like helping to set the table or taking the garbage out or you know something that isn't necessarily an assigned task, but just saying, hey, Mom, I love you, or giving a child a hug. Did you know that we need hugs, and you'll find this out later, but we need uh, about 12 hugs a day to really thrive, four to survive, uh, uh, eight to heal, and 12 to really thrive a day. So even giving a, uh, uh, somebody a smile as you pass them on the street is doing a bit of service. The other thing we want to mention is that service doesn't have to all be extended toward someone else. It can be extended toward yourself, and that's a very 
interesting situation that we want to mention, and that is if a child does his homework, that's serving himself. But let's not get caught up in the self-serving situation too much. But I do want to point out, if a child reads his scriptures, says his prayers, that that's serving himself and helping himself to grow. It's also serving Heavenly Father and helping Heavenly Father to achieve Heavenly Father's goals of us uh, being able to prove ourselves and come back to Him. Let's not get too hung up on that self service type of idea but it is a service to ourselves and if that's all we can do in a day that's okay but we should try and do a service for somebody else every day too so those are the five basic habits download the journal read the PDF and uh, incorporate this in your child's education this is probably one of the most important things that you can do, as I said, a church study came out and said that if you have personal prayer and personal scripture study, that that will keep you active and going in the church more than anything else. So please accept this as our gift to you and to your child and incorporate the five basic habits and the five basic habits journal in their schooling and in their lives. It will pay big dividends by small means are great things brought to pass. Thank you.